friends, my name is Annabelle and I love that you decided to join me today. It is such a fun and joyful time of year. And the real reason we celebrate is because God gave us Jesus. Let's sing and remember that Jesus is the greatest gift ever. Sing with me. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so Stars in the sky, they look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. Street. 
I am crazy excited you are joining me today. Guess what? It's almost Christmas. This is my absolute favorite time of the year. I love decorating and seeing all the lights. It is so amazing. For the next few weeks, we're going to talk about the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas means celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. Speaking of celebrating and Christmas and lights, I want you to check out these fun lights and see if you can guess what song we're watching. Go for it now. Oh my word, so much fun. I love watching dancing lights. Well, today's story is about a married couple named Zachariah and Elizabeth. Zachariah was a priest and would talk to God for the people in his town. Both he and Elizabeth loved and served God, but they hadn't been able to have any children. Each year, a different priest was chosen to go into the temple to make an offering to God. This was a huge honor for any priest. Well, one year, Zachariah was chosen to enter the temple and burn incense before God. Well, the other priests waited outside while Zachariah went inside the temple. While he was inside, an angel appeared to him and told him not to be afraid. The angel told Zachariah that God had heard his prayers and that he and his wife Elizabeth would have a child. They were to name him John and he would be so important to God and to Jesus' story. Well, Zachariah was shocked. He asked the angel how he could be sure of this. I mean, it didn't seem possible since he and Elizabeth were both quite old. I mean, they were basically grandparents. But the angel told him because he didn't believe this news, Zachariah would be silent and not be able to speak until after John was born. While all this was going on, the other priests were outside the temple. They were wondering why Zachariah was taking so long. But when Zachariah came out, he couldn't speak. Zachariah was trying to motion to them and, and tell them what had happened, but he couldn't talk. The priests realized that he had seen a vision. After Zachariah was done serving the Lord, he returned home. And a short time later, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant. Later on, it was time for her to have a baby. And just like the angel said, she gave birth to a son. After eight days, friends and family gathered to help name the baby. They had planned on naming him Zachariah after his father. But Elizabeth said he must be called John. Well, everyone turned to look to Zachariah. Zachariah motioned for something to write on. And he wrote, his name is John. Suddenly, Zachariah could speak again. Zachariah praised God. All of her neighbors and friends were amazed at what had happened. It was clear that God was with Zachariah, Elizabeth, and their new baby, John. You know, what seemed impossible had become possible. God had given Zachariah and Elizabeth a child in their old age. And this is the really cool part. When John grew older, he would play an important role in introducing his cousin, Jesus, to the world. Well, let's look at our bottom line slide today. Celebrate because God can do anything. You know, nothing is too difficult for God. Let's pray and thank God for being so powerful. God, thank you so much for reminding us that you can do anything. Just like in this story with Zachariah and Elizabeth, you gave them a son at their old age. Help us to remember that this week, when something's hard or difficult, that you can do anything. We can go to you and talk to you when we need help. We love you, God. Amen. In today's story, we heard how Zechariah and Elizabeth were too old to have children. They were as old as grandparents. But God can do anything, and God gave them a son. God can do anything in your life, too. 
I want you to stop and think for a minute. Is there something in your life that seems impossible right now? I know for me, school can be a little difficult with all the tests that I have to take. I want you to turn and talk to someone in your family and tell them what is really difficult for you right now. I hope you had a great conversation. I want to remind you that you can talk to God anytime and tell Him about your situation. God is always bigger than our biggest fear or problem. Nothing is impossible for Him. Now I want you to pray and talk to God. I'll give you some time to do that now. I'm so glad you had some time to talk to God. Now let's celebrate. Let's celebrate that God can do anything. God can give you super cool dance moves, the ability to draw amazing pictures, or the voice of an angel. Whatever special gift God has given you, dance around and celebrate it. Shout out the amazing things that make you special and jump and cheer about it. Go ahead, do that now. Good job, friends. We can celebrate because God can do anything. When you find yourself facing something that feels bigger than you can handle, stop and ask God for His help. He will be with you every step of the way and you can trust Him no matter what. It was so good to see you today. I love learning about Christmas and the best gift ever. Be sure to join me next week as we continue the story. Remember to tell your adult to check out our website at crosspointweb.org family for more family fun and don't forget to have them subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next week. Bye friends!